But when you got an air chisel with a uh, real long bit on it, screws don't have a chance. All right, so this evening, after our project, we bought this uh, 26 foot fifth wheel with a slide in camper on it to use for hauling the Jeep this year and camping out of. But it is raised up on these two two by fours and some kind of foam mat and stuff. And it moves too much with the trailer twisting. It moves independent of that. So we're gonna take them out. Uh, I'm gonna have to set it on a piece of the like board, particle board set they put in the floors of the houses and Vatec waterproof stuff. We're gonna set it down it because there's a lip right here and you can't set it all the way on the side. So we're gonna try to get that done and pick it up here on the side. See what happens. That wasn't quite as bad as we thought. It took a little bit, but they had them screwed down in the middle. But when you got an air chisel with a uh, real long bit on it, screws don't have a chance. So, they had all this junk under it with some L brackets, half screws in them, half not. And then that foam pad, which I like the foam pad for stuff, but you know, not for here. So now we get ready to put a, as you can tell, I'm kind of out of breath, but we'll get ready to get the boards out, the four by eight sheets and the one will fit right in the middle. And then we'll have to cut two for this side over the sides here and on the other side. All right, so we got the camper on the trailer, sitting down, you can see the board. We put, use that uh, like a Bantech uh, waterproof uh, board like they use in the house floors. Um, it give it just enough room off the deck to be able to get our sewer cap off and on still. Come in here, clean out the box. These drains, um, one's for hot water ones for cold water for drain in the winter time. They go through the floor. They were hanging down just under the camper these drains were. So we cut them off till we got to sit down. I drew holes through the board, through the floor of the trailer, put the valves inside so that now they're out of harm's way. They ain't gonna be hanging under the trailer um, for what we're doing. So I drew holes through the floor, run some new pecs, and that sticks out under the trailer and it can drain. We got the box, that side little storage box all cleaned out. So on to the next. We put a piece okay. of flat steel under the back of it to support it. Okay. And welded it fast. And then all of these, these go through the steel, these is through the steel too. And it's got a plate like this piece that come with it on the bottom side. So it's sandwiching the, the board, trailer board and everything together. Okay. That move. Sweet. Then when you get here, you can always. Oh. I mean, I'm going to finish it. Or either put a, they make some plastic thing to go around. Molding that goes over it. Oh, I see. Nice. That way, when you're coming down to, when you're coming down to, you can help us. Yeah, like that. Not a painter. Let's just go ahead and say that, like straight out of the gate, I'm not a painter. Man, you know. <laughs> Easy now. Get what's get.
Lane is thinking that he probably should have told me no about paint the camera. What are you doing up there? We have a leak. It's out there where it's at. That air needs to be tightened up. You got to turn around. I do. Sucks. <laughs> yeah, there's no white water running there. I sealed all of that good. Just had to seal the top of it. Okay. That's right. Okay. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. We are gonna finish the trim. Gonna try to. Okay. Hopefully finish the trim. I'm gonna finish the, try to finish the angle on the outside and put the tie downs back on it and maybe get the floor and put in possibly. At least yeah. lay some out and see what it's gonna look like. But definitely hopefully get the trim done and. Gotta get some molding pieces to go up. If we can finish the painting tomorrow, it would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But. We also got a car show or inflex ramp competition to go to, so mm -hmm. um, for a couple of hours, so unless we get up really early in the morning, and come work on it. No, we won't. <laughs> so I guess we'll probably start on it probably tomorrow by hopefully probably five six o'clock. Yeah, because I think the car show is over at four, so say five or six, and we can get work to ten, so that'd be pretty good. Should be able to get something done. Oh, yeah. In four we'll hours, five hours. Hmm. Whoever, you know. But today is Monster a wrap. Energy can do wonders. We don't need a lot of those, <laughs> but we might need one. <laughs> hmm. Get a little one. Yeah, okay, a little one. Yeah. All right, so that's a wrap for day one. Yep, day one. Pretty good. Well, I think it went pretty good. I think it went great. I got some outside caught and got the overhead thing uh the escape hatch because they don't make a max air vent for it because it's a escape hatch even though i Which looked makes for sense. one um but i covered it with uh found some cracks in it so hopefully i covered it with flex seal the actually it comes in a bucket like paint so it's a little thicker than a spray on or stuff so i painted it the whole lid good so hopefully that fixed our leak yep and i caught some stuff other stuff around i needed to so Mm -hmm. Got several things done. So okay. it's getting there. It's getting there. awesome. That'll be the perfect place for our shoes.
ไปนะคะเดี๋ยวเราจะเอาไปใช้ในการทำงานของเราเดี๋ยวเราจะเอาไปใช้ในการทำงานของเราเดี๋ยวเราจะเอาไปใช้ในการทำงานของเราเดี๋ยวเรา
just to hold the awning bag up away from the door. Yeah. Put oh yeah. Angle at the back. We got angle at the front, and then angle on the side behind the boxes, so it won't go forwards or backwards or side to side. So it's stable now. So I don't know if we did this or said this, but we could say it now. Why did you do that? What happened like on the way home? So it was mounted on two by fours that were stacked two two by fours on top of each other. And the, the guys had been using it for a couple of years, but coming home, they were tied to here, which I didn't like with, with cable um, turnbuckles and chain. And coming home, it bounces it bounces a good bit without a vehicle on the back. And coming home, the other side over there had a little bit, we found a little bit of rot in behind this bracket and it pulled the screws out. Okay. So these were in the camper in the storage box. And like I said, that's what actually ties it on a truck when it's in the bed of a truck because it's spring loaded. So it'll let the camper move, but it won't let it come off. Okay. And it also had slid back some on the trailer. So just didn't like to set up. It was. I wanted to do it like I wanted to do it. That's right. So I got to doing some research and everybody said set it on the trailer or set it completely on the trailer. Other than we do have a piece of uh, the OSB uh, Advantech waterproof flooring like they use in houses. We did put a piece of that under it and uh, come out of the sides with another piece. Like I said, then we bolted this to the trailer and I also have um, angle under the trailer so it's sandwiched the boards together so it won't pull these bolts out. So okay. it's there to, it's there to stay now and it's still a move a, a little bit to let it flex separate from the trailer but that way it don't tear it up. So Right. Okay. That made it more solid. We pulled it I don't know 10, 15 miles like this and it didn't move now so feel good about it. It looks good moving with the trailer so we, uh, we should be good to go now. Good deal. And then we're done the inside. So, uh, repainted everything and... I got video of that. Yep, You'll see that. I have video of that. So, should be good to go. Other than, like I say, other than mounting the propane bottles. And I still got to pack our stuff in it and redo, organize my boxes. Because we had everything out of our jumper. And... I still have to pack the inside. From, well, we had <laughs> other camper, so... But, uh... We're getting we added there. these tie downs. I put these in it. They were all... I got off of Amazon. I had them on my car tra trailer that we originally had, hauling a Jeep on. Um, so now my Jeep actually cross straps on the axle. Um, the wife's JK also, or JKU will fit on here too. So if we want to take it somewhere with us, but I think it may have to tie down a little different. We ain't had it on the trailer yet. So, but I have hauled my Jeep on it. So we know it works. Yep. So we're looking forward to, forward to trying it out this year. And like, like I said, there's a, I did put a TV mount. We cut the, because I don't need to get on top. You're not really supposed to crawl on top of this one. Um, so I cut the thing off for the awning, the ladder, but left the ladder and mounted a TV mount on it. So we got a 32 inch Roco TV that come with the camper and it hangs out here. So we can sit on the deck, have a fire and watch TV or watch YouTube while we're camping, yeah. crawling, whatever we're doing. Yeah. Where we're at, so. We're looking forward to trying it out this year. See cool. how we like it. Yeah. Since Lane did the outside walk around of what we did to the crawler hauler, I'll show you the interior. So Lane did a great job at trimming up and putting new trim um, down around the floor and the cabinets. Um, he also did a great job on doing the backsplash. Um, we found these um, wrench pulls at Hobby Lobby and they just give that extra little touch. We love it. We're gonna put um, like a little boot tray in there and that's where we're gonna put our shoes. We really don't have a lot of floor space. We're gonna put um, probably a cooler here if we need to, um, a trash can, a small trash can. I already need to sweep, um, but there's not a lot of floor space. So that would be great as we head up to sleep. That is a great place for our shoes. Our bedroom is pretty straightforward. We added curtains. I do need to change that big curtain rod there in the middle to actually fit the curtain. We have a place for a TV. Um, we plan on adding like a, a mattress topper um, for it to be more comfortable for us. But overall, I think it's exactly what we need. We took out the table 
and turn this area into just a complete couch instead of a table chair scenario. It was very cramped in here and you kept like bumping into the table. We definitely will use this couch area more. Um, I, of course, added the curtains, finished the painting, added a battery light, um, a first aid kit that we use. Um, we've used it in the chamber. Um, we also had these scrap metal pieces that we put on the door and put decals on there because we love those and they always like reflect where we've been. So we love that little thing. Those just those little things that we can do to personalize it. Um, of course, the bathroom <laughs> is going to stay unchanged. Um, we're not using the shower. Um, we're just going to pack it. <laughs> we can hang clothes in there, whatever. There was nothing really to do in there. So we have some four by four pictures just to personalize it a little more in here. And that's about all we've got a pack. We're going to use it next weekend. And as always, guys, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate you following along. Please like, subscribe, share. 